Hanging on. Okay, what I did was stop. It's really hard to hold on to. I had to stop and restart the um, recording. Hold on. Is that right? Is that right? Do we sound okay, everybody out there? I'm getting better with Streamlabs, Russell. Just ask Pi, but yeah, it's... This is a challenge to get as many things as I want done, done. And yeah, yeah, lots of things I need to learn. But I'm more than happy to have you go through it and make me better at this because that would be awesome. And everybody would have more fun. All right, so. Is everybody ready? Hey. If you win the first one, take a turn off. We do have some giveaways for a little bit later in it. And starting with my absolute favorite quote of all time, let's clean the stream first. Let's clear that. Boop. We are clean. And we're back. Ready? You need to name the series and the episode. If you get it, first one will announce the first winner, but then that person has to take the next one off. And I'm not going to say this as the actor because a lot of them are better than I am. Take D'Artagnan here to sick bay. Da da dun 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 dun. Come on, folks. This one's easy. Oh, come on. Giving you an easy one. Mar Hawkman, TNG, the holodeck episode with Barkley. Wrong. I'll even give everyone a hint. It's not TNG. Anybody else? Take D'Artagnan here to sick bay. I'll give you another clue. There's a reference to why the person is being called D'Artagnan in the first Star Trek reboot movie. And time's up, and we're going on to the next one. That was Spock talking about Sulu running around the ship with his shirt off, holding an epi and terrorizing people. He's under the effect of the virus, the Psy 2000 wasn't virus. A, wasn't a rapier or something, I yeah, think. Yeah, epi, rapier, same, same. Naked now. All right. Let's go for something a little different then. Let's see if I've got another one here. You would think with all of these I would have a bunch, and I do. But finding where I put them is always the much more fun part of it. Um... You will hang by the neck, Captain, until you are dead, dead, dead. Oh, I remember this one very yeah. well. Yeah, me too. But you've got to find it. Come on, folks. We got prizes. I presume people can hear me and hear my creakety creakety chair. Oh, good. I hope so, but... Wow. Okay. I'm going to give this one up. You guys should be better at this. Okay, let's give you an easy one. Rina! They disappoint me, man. They disappoint me. Oh, come on. That one's easy. Hmm, I figured you guys would be flying through these. Maybe you're just not in chat. Jump into chat, join us. Don't make us start answering the questions. Yeah, we already know the answers. We wrote them. Yeah. Okay. Wow, we're, we're going zero for zero, folks. This is zero for three now. I'll settle for getting the right series. How's that? 
since this one's tough. It isn't. Well, no, apparently it is. People are remembering episodes. And I will say that my son pulled a lot of these out of the air because he's so good with them. But I'm afraid. Well, I know. Was, you want me to no. give ans- You want me to give some of the answers right now? No, no, no. Because I can give the answer to the last one. I know it. Well, Rena in the next generation. No, Rena was not in the next generation. No, it's in game. This was this was an STO quote. Yeah. The pre. The, no, number two was not Picard Rizal. Yeah, it's installation eighteen, right? Rizal number two was not Picard. It was the original series. It was. It was the Squire of Gothos. Squire of Gothos. Yeah. All right. Um, With the great William Campbell as Trelane going, you were hanging until you are dead. 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 All right. Um, This one I really like, and I think it's ever so appropriate. I will settle for series. But if you know anything further, great. With the first link, the chain is forged. The first speech censored, the first thought forbidden, the fire, first freedom denied, chains us all irrevocably. I'm, you know, since I didn't help you with this one, I'm going to type it out into somewhere else. Okay. I did not help with this one because yeah. I know this one very well. Uh, very good. Mar Hockman got it. It is indeed the drumhead. That yes, is. Mar Hawkman. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. That is one of my favorites, and we should all be remembering that one at the moment. It's such a good it, one. It's, it's still very appropriate today. It is. Let's see. So I'm, um, Another awesome one to listen to. But the most damning thing of all, I think I can live with it. And the thing is, if you were listening to the stream from Cryptic this week, this actual one came up, so it's a good one. I really wasn't, but the... It was a good one. I think I... I think I got the series right. I just painted over to your Skype. Okay. Hmm. I Skyped and call. That's interesting. Okay, I'll give you one that is super, super easy. Everyone should get this one. He caught his head in a mechanical rice picker. Come on. Come on, this one's easy. I know this one. Yeah, I... Well, Mark Hockman, if you know that one, the last one, put it up because no, but I want to see answers. I don't want to see people <laughs> blanked out. It's terrible to see people blanked out. You guys are all smart. I know. And that one I know. Oh, we'll give everyone a moment. It takes a moment to think yeah. about them. Yeah. Very good. Very good. It was in the pale moonlight. Yep. And uh, this one, tell me when to get, tell me when to, we're giving up, Mom, I will. Oh, go ahead and, um, do you want to do one? TOS, piece of the action. Very good, it was TOS, piece of the action. Except for one thing. City on the edge of forever. Yeah, City on the edge of forever, I knew where you are going with it, but that's okay. Yeah. All right, let's find another one here. It was one. They, it was the 1930s. They visited twice, <laughs> technically. Okay, this one is harder than you think it is. DT, you can't answer because we've had this discussion. <laughs> it's Damn you. screen. Damn you! <laughs> and the quote is, it's green. 
Folks, get your nerd on. Get your inner nerd on. Damn you all. Damn you. <laughs> yes. Well, no, there wasn't more than one. There was only one. And they're in as in, the, in those in those exact words there was only, only one, one. But it was revisited. Well, you guys who are sucking at trivia are gonna have a lot more fun when we do six degrees of Star Trek separation. Apparently not, if I can't get some of these. <laughs> My gun's bigger than yours, which is mm, comparing specs and stats. No, Mar Hawkman, Data does not say it in TNG when he's showing the whiskey to Scotty. And he it, says it is green. He says it is green. Data doesn't use contractions, except in a couple of episodes when he does use contractions. Yeah, he doesn't use contractions except when he does. <laughs> right, and, or exactly. When it's, or, when it's, or when it's plot point to have him use it. When it to have him... To say something's wrong, he's using a contraction. But it's the same premise. It is a Scotty quote, and it's in yeah. it's in a TOS episode. One of the better ones. Eh, I don't know about that. It's a good one. Okay, go ahead and tell them which one. Oh, uh, I'm not going to tell them. You can tell them by any other name. Right. All right. This one should be stupid easy. The, the one, I, the thing I love about it, he gets him drunk, walks out, passes out. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Hail, <laughs> hail, fire and snow. Call the angel, angel. We will we go. go. <laughs> Far away for to see. Friendly angel, come to me. Oh, then we will do some non-TOS episodes for you, then. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Mom, I watched the first episode of Lower Decks. <gasps> I meant to do that. I promised Don I would do that last night. Yeah. I watched it last night. Any good? Can I say two words that... Space zombies. Okay. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Enjoy. Mayor Hawkman, you are right. And the children shall lead. Very good. Okay, we will do one that is not TOS. A warrior's drink. I know this one. I did this one for mom, so you... <laughs> It is worth talking about prune juice, but it's not in D. Actually, it's not in it's DS9. Not, no, no it not might be DS9. In D well, he may have said it in DS9, but... No, Quark actually was talking about prune juice, I think, in DS9. You are right. Guinan and Worf are there. Which episode is it? It's not going to be... It's going to be... In, you know what? Hmm. It kind of... We kind of tangently referenced it when we were talking about the episode arcs. Yeah, yeah. It's actually in sort of one of the arcs. I can give a big hint. But I'm not going to. I'm going to torture you, I'm going to torture you bastards. <laughs> Don't talk to her. They're not bastards if they've given us a follow. The rest of you, give us a yeah. follow. Don't have yeah. DT talk smack yeah. about you. Okay, we're going to go on to the next one. I'm giving you the answer because, okay. damn you, yesterday's Enterprise. Yeah. All right. One of, the, one of the best episodes, one of the ones that's always been rated in the top ten of the T. TNG episodes, and you can't get it! What the heck? Okay, we're gonna give I disappoint, you, we're you've gonna disappointed give, me, audience. You have disappointed you me terribly. One, just so everybody can have some fun. Yeah. There are four lights. Oh, 
Come on, that's an easy one, folks. Clue. It guest stars Ronnie Cox. Well, it is Picard. So yeah. that means we know it's TNG. What's the episode? It also... That's great. It is Chains of yeah. Command. Very good. Or Chain of Command. I'm not sure which one it is. But yes, it's definitely that one. Yep. Guest stars Ronnie Cox. Guest stars... Uh, what is it? I can't remember freaking his name right now. David. Oh, God. What's his last name? David. David. What's his last name, folks? Yes, it was the one where he's uh, David. He's in Star Trek Six, and and five. Antron. Mm -hmm. uh, David. David Warner. Warner. David Warner. Yes, thank you very much. Hey, I can remember lines. Okay, I'll give yeah. you another one that isn't TOS. You hit me. Picard never hit me. If you. If you can, and I will, I will point out something Give after a moment to answer. after after they give the answer. Very I'm good. Not Thank give you, answer. Russell. It is Q and yep. Voyager. No, it wasn't Voyager. Sorry. It wasn't Voyager. No, it wasn't. Oh, you're right. It's not. It is. You're Q. wrong. Ooh, I was reading the line Mar above Hawkman it. My Mar bad. Hawkman got the Mar Hawkman got the situation. Yes. Yes. It's Q getting. No, but it is uh, in um, DS9, you're right, in Q-less. My bad. I yeah, thought it was Q-less. Where he, yes, yeah. and that was the only time Q ever visited DS9. <laughs> All right. Picard never hit me. I'm not Picard. Hmm. I have more on my other computer, so I'm going to have to go get my other computer, which is right here. I have pages and pages, but I want to do some different ones. Yeah. All right. I it's not safe out there. One now. It's not safe out there. It's, I'm sorry. It's not safe out here. It's wondrous with treasures to satiate desires both subtle and gross, but it's not for the timid. Another Q quote. It is another cute quote. What is an easy cute quote, too? No. Oh. But Q's so memorable. He's got so many memorable quotes you gotta go kind of filter through. No, not encountered for our point, but you're close. You're closer than you think you are. Okay, DT, which one is it? I'm not doing it. <laughs> oh, I... come on. Okay, it's from TNG. It's the first one with Q and the Borg. Right, Q who. Q who, very good. Your turn. You said you wanted one from the game. Okay, I'm going to give you an easy one. Ready for this? Yes. Curland here. <laughs> I'm throwing you a softball, guys. Come on. Don't disappoint me. So we've got two votes for Boldly They Rode. Three votes. <laughs> You're right. And you are right. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> I, had to, I had to throw a softball. It was just... It's been disappointing otherwise, man. Okay, here's mine. Get your, get Not, your trivia on. <laughs> DT, you go drag up another game one. I'm going to give a non-game one. My underwear is flame retardant, but that doesn't mean I want to set myself on fire to prove it. Oh, I think for the next time we play this, we're going to only have to do T, uh, TOS, sorry, STO quotes. Hmm, very challenging. Guys, 
I'm going to take away your pocket protectors if you don't start getting some of these. It is something Tucker would say, potato guns. It is indeed something Tucker would say. Because Tucker had some of the best lines in all of Enterprise. Yeah. DT, your turn. Uh, yeah. I have to come up with something here. Oh. I'm going to have to pass because I have absolutely no notes or anything else here. Okay. Uh, get, I'll softball this one to you guys, too. There's coffee right. in that nebula. <laughs> Janeway quotes. Janeway quotes. <sighs> you just gave it away for them. I know. <sighs> but they got to get the episode. Come on. No, they don't have to get the episode. I'm going to be happy right now if we get the right series. All right. Here's another easy... Gimme. I'm not quite sure congratulations are in order, Commander, but you're pregnant. <laughs> I remember this episode. <laughs> Thank you very much, Taco Pita. Very good. Yeah. Yes. The episode is unexpected. See, Excellent, folks. Season one. Very Enterprise. good, Potatoes Gun. You got it. Nice job. <laughs> it's actually not as horrible as some episodes, but there are some really bad episodes. Threshold. Oh, shh. <laughs> that is the single worst episode ever. Oh, ugh. I know. <laughs> that actually was on here as worst episode ever. It was awful. Okay. <laughs> no, that's too easy. That's too easy. War crimes? How can there be war crimes when there hasn't been a war? Nope, not Voyager. You know, I got another softball ST01 just popped into my head. Okay. Not Voyager. I know it's softball because if you, you would get this in two seconds. Come on, folks. If it's not Voyager, it's one of the others. Yeah, come on. And it's not a Klingon. Let us think about which series had an arc involving wars. And it's not Q. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, how many, how many Star Trek series involved wars? It is DS9 Potatoes Gun, so we're getting closer there. Mar Hawkman, I'll reread the quote to you and maybe you'll nail it, but war crimes? How can there be war crimes when there hasn't been a war? And that's actually um, Goldar Heel in DS9's duet. Okay, yep. your turn, DT. And then we're going to do one more, and then we're going to break, and we're going to do a player interview with one of our players. Since you don't know what I'm going to do, Mom, you're even eligible to win this one. Okay. Ready? Woo! Wave your hands! <laughs> and I want where they say this one, guys. Come on. <laughs> if you... Incoming message. Oh. Yes, Mar Hogman, that is Ooh. who said it, but... Pi, thank you. The dance instructor. All right, Taco. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Taco Pita, thank you. Okay, this is the last one. It's a softball, kind of good one. And then we're going to do a player interview. So here we go. It's like I said, the more things change, the more they stay the same.
Can we do one more after this? Yes, I have one, one more. more. I have one appropriate ending one. This was an appropriate ending one. I have a different one that <laughs> you'll like. Okay. Oh, come on. That one was iconic, classic. It's also an ending line. Hint, 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 hint. 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 Do you know that one, DT? Not off the top of my head. It's oh, okay. It's the last line in DS9, spoken by Quark. Yeah. And that's where ready for my, is. ready for mine. Yours. Second star to the right, straight on till morning. Ooh. I know. Mom no, mom <laughs> knows. Mom likes this one. I told you it'd be appropriate to end. <laughs> appropriate one to end. Come on, guys. You know this one. Then we're going to take a little, little trail off into uh, Kirk ending of ST5. Except not quite. Close. Close. No. Very close. Close, Trooper. Very good MMO. You got it. Star Trek VI. How they yes, the Undiscovered Country. Thank you. <laughs> All right, folks. We're going to take a slight break here. Well, we're not going to take a break. We're going to take a break. But you guys get to listen to, I hope, something else. Oh, or maybe not. Hmm. Apparently, I didn't load this up right. I'm uh -oh. bummed. So bear with me for just a moment here. We are experiencing technical difficulties. We were Please stand by. <laughs> being an idiot, but that happens. Alrighty. So let's do this. Let's do display capture. Let's add a source. No, you know what? Let's cancel that for a second. I'm trying to make this the easiest way possible. <laughs> Hopefully this will work. All this technical stuff. That's not what I want. Cancel. Darn you. No, it won't let me cancel that either. How interesting. <laughs> ah, there we go. Hey, this is not what I do for a living. It isn't? <laughs> no, it definitely isn't. Come on, guys. We want to do this for a living. Help us. <laughs> and I think we're grateful that, All right, the, so, that you don't um, live of this. What was that? You're grateful I think that I don't do this for a living? Yeah. Fine. Fine. Be that way. <laughs> well, be that's that it. Way. I'm fired? Y y no. I just wish I could do this off on one side so you guys didn't have to see it, but I can't do it while we're broadcasting. No. No, I'm a no pie. I'm afraid we're going to have to give you a pay cut. Nothing and nothing. Carry the nothing. Well, since you guys weren't here to see my intro that I opened with, I will turn the volume down. I promise. Since I forgot which channel it's on. There we go. Out, out, out. Anything you're missing on there, Mom, is a star wipe. <laughs> Anything you're missing on there, Mom, is a star wipe.
I'm kidding with you. <laughs> no, he's not. So yeah, that's what I spent my <clears throat> better part of the last few weeks working on. Well, I guess <laughs> I'm not going to do my interview till I figure out why the technical side of it isn't working. I know why the technical side isn't working, but you guys don't want me to bore you with what that. What precisely we'll was it. that technical issue? Not uploading? Um, I can't upload it to the source while I'm running a stream. Me. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't think to upload them in advance, which is a bummer. Yeah. Absolute bummer. Which means, of course, hey, that means we can have fun time for just a moment, everybody. Fun time? Yeah, We're allowed to have fun here? Yeah, we get to have fun here. Yeah, th that was the whole point on that last look trooper. When I was recording this, she looks up and I'm like, oh, that's a creepy head. So yeah, definitely want to keep that one. All right, we can close that, we can close that, we can come on over to here. So here's the first question I've got for you guys before we go into what the heck I've got for planned for two o'clock, and I don't know what that is. But I'll find out real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Two o'clock, we're going to, oh, we're going to talk about the uh, Jemmy arc. But since things are kind of changing what I thought they would be since name that episode wasn't quite the hit that I thought it was going to be, let's talk a little bit about what we're going to be doing tomorrow, which is we're going to be doing a Battle of the Starships. And there isn't a winner loser type thing, but have you guys ever done bracket battles? Which is, oh boy, that looks terrible. Sorry about that. Let's fly someplace better. There you go. We'll go over here for a while. Um, at Star Trek conventions, they occasionally have battles between like NPCs. One year we did Mirror, I think Mirror Women. Is that the name of that? No, it no, was a, no. What we wandered in on on that convention was. That, the best mirror universe characters. Best, okay, so we want to do the best ship. Not the best build, the best ship. So, we want 16 ships, not builds, but ships. And what's going to happen is we're going to talk about one ship, then another ship, talk about their specs. You guys are going to vote on the winner, and we're going to keep taking this. And you can go vote for whatever ones you like. But we're going to have 16 ships. I think the point Ooh. is that they can nominate the ships. We're not going to pick. They can nominate them. We're yeah, told. I had picked out 16, and everybody said, yeah, that's not very exciting, Mom. Me, 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 me. So fine. Be that way. Hey, don't forget. We'll see you here. Yeah. Don't forget at uh, 3 o'clock in an hour and a half, Nick from Cryptic will be here. Tentatively, we're talking about New Romulus, but I don't know that we're actually going to talk about New Romulus. Because, you know, I'd rather talk about stuff he'd like to talk about. This is not an open panel discussion. So if you want to complain and moan and go, I want to see this, and why do you do that? No, no, no. You guys can talk about anything you want to, but let's, you know, talk about the good things, the positive things. We've got ample time in our lives to moan and groan about things. Yeah. But if you want to make comments and ask him what's coming up or what he can talk about, not that he may be able to talk about stuff, that's cool. Just, you know, one thing we were complaining about earlier is how negative this can be. And I don't want it to be negative, because that's just not exciting or interesting. I know. We're not negative people. <laughs> can I ask a, a still question really quick, because I came across it last night? Sure. Um, the, the last quest in the... Where is it? It's not the Gamma quadrant yeah the renegades regret yeah at the very end of it what i've got to, where i've got to talk to jordy uh-huh is that like routinely bugged or is it just me that i just suck i've never had a bug out on me but that doesn't okay. mean it's not because i haven't played it since it first came out it like i out. played it uh quite recently so um the 
it's um, it's more or less on the uh, playlist for uh, for the space trade, and um, so far I would say uh, it, it's working uh, uh, as usual. Okay, well I did it last night actually. I actually talked with the with one of the mods, mm -hmm. and uh, they said that it seemed like I should put out a bug report or whatever. Because I couldn't get into the brig at the at the very end. <clears throat> oh, on DS9? On DS9. Huh, that is weird. So I was just wondering if that was a well-known bug or whether it was just my computer just not working. Uh, Captain Darling, you said, for some reason I'm Romulan Fed Fleet Admiral. Try to mirror recon. It said I don't meet the requirements, so I couldn't open it. I don't know. Anybody? Is there a reason he can't open a mirror recon? As a Romulan Fed Fleet Admiral, he certainly got the rank. It's not tied to KDF, is it? Don't think it is. I don't think it is either. Uh, some ships are excluded from interfection. Okay, which vessel are you talking about, just out of curiosity? There's the Mir Trident Reconnaissance Science Vessel. Science recon. I am attempting something here on the main tower because I'm still getting those freaking weird crash reports, so I'm stripping out all the extra drives and trying trying to stop the SSD. Mom, what instance are you in? Um, apparently I'm in 48. 48. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm looking at the Mirror Trident Reconnaissance Science Vessel, which is a Tier 5. Is that the one that you're looking at? Okay. Players can obtain this from the Infinity Lockbox, blah, 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 blah. The box ship is not bound and so may be traded to others or sold on the exchange under the name Special Requisition Pack. Uh, I'm looking to see if there's any limitations on it. may be flown by Starfleet characters, including Federation Line Romulans and Dominion characters. So if you're looking at the Mirror Trident Reconnaissance Science Vessel, you should be able to open it. So let's go for the other option. Have you got a ship slot available? Yeah, the only thing I can think of if there's no obvious reason, certainly it's not your rank or your alignment, it just maybe you don't have a ship slot open. If you do, I don't know. Yeah, the number one reason I can't open stuff is my inventory is full. Please, no laughing. I know, the inventory is always full. And the overflow back uh, at a certain degree, though, that yeah. needs... Uh, I know only one person that hits the full overflow back on a regular basis. Not me. It's it never me. happened to mom. No, 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 never happened to me. <laughs> I swear yeah, she's always responsible. Person. Let's see, I actually think... I'm See, I'm good today. I've, I've got some open slots down there. Which I intend to fill up with favors, but I haven't yet. All right, so what did I say we we're doing at 2 o'clock? Uh, oh. 
we're the, talking about the Jemmy arc. I wanted to really talk about the um, Romulan arc, but I think I want to save that for a little bit later. I'll be back. Okay. We'll see you later when you get back. He's abandoning us all again. <laughs> Hardly. He's been here still. Well, Captain Darling, every now and then, one of the perks for doing something is to get extra slots. Hence, you know, all the slots that I've got on this tune, they didn't all come with this tune, and no, I never buy more slots, because I just don't do that with throwaway stuff first. But yeah, every now and then I'll just buy a bunch. For a limited time only, I will be awarding bonus favors to anyone who comes help me locate temporal artifacts. <laughs> All right, so we can actually start a little bit early on the Gem Hadar. The problem is, of course, I had something scheduled for 2.30, which I had to change because it's it up big time. Um, so let's get back to our topic of what ships would you guys like to see in a battle? If you I don't know, don't my favorite ship, bar to... none, is the Vanguard Carrier. Not going to get a big argument for me on the Vanguard Carrier. And with proper setup, it can hold its own, but the thing is straight out of the box, it's darn good. I don't know, it's a lot of fun with the Orion, um... Of the elite Orion fighters. It is. Um, Mar Hawkman, when you say Kabali ship, which one are you talking about? There's only one Kabali ship, the Samsar. Samsar, okay. Thank you. The one you can't fly. Thank you. Why can't you fly it? Because it because it's not enough. There's an NPC only one? Seriously? Uh, I flew a Zen Kethi that you can't get that I'd really like to get. Uh, in that same arc I was telling you about. Um, well, let's just fight ships that can fight. fight. Let's see. I like that one, and I like the Bajoran Interceptor. And the Maki Raider. You know, I think everybody should only have one sh one one entry into this. Oh, that's fine. We can. Uh, the more the merrier, DT. We can call out and go for the sixteen. We think that have the best options. Well, I think most people would agree with those ships, though. Well, yeah, they they can, but that's not enough to have a good battle here. That's only enough for three battles. That's true. Yes. Paul, I love the Astika. I would not want to put it up against a, a straight out of the box. It is not a particularly stunning ship. Come on, we were having a great convo about this the other night, folks. You guys got to have some good ideas for what makes a good ship. Otherwise, I'll just do the 16 I've already picked, which is boring. Boring, boring, boring. I'm going to go to the Gagarin. Yeah, the Voth Rampart. I knew you were going to say that. The ship that I'm really enjoying that I think has got the most capability straight out of the box and can hold its own is the um, Alliance Battlecruiser. I'm not a fan of it, but if it works for you, then... Yep. Lucari Scout. Are we into cold penguins today, Wolfie? She's making fun of me, as always. Uh, why is she making fun of you? Because that's what she does. That's all she can do. It's her job. I understand. Mm -hmm. I understand. Any others? So far, we've got the Vanguard Carrier. We've got the Kabali Samsar. We've got the Voth Fleet Carrier. We've got a Maquis Raider. We've got the Bajoran Interceptor of Voth Rampart. We've got a Gagarin, an Alliance Battlecruiser, and a Lucari Scout. We need some more ships, folks. Don't have to think about them right now, but we're going to do this tomorrow. We're going to fight these ships and see who 
has the best, not in a fight itself, but who can spec out their ships from what they are for the best possible fighter. I realize in a build you can do a lot of stuff. You know, there was once the king of, of many a build. Hmm. Which one? The scimitar. The scimitar. Interesting. I've never had that one. Uh, well, way back when, it was one of the big major annihilating builds. Oh, dust to dust. Yes, yes. Well, you know, the thing is, um, it doesn't have to be a big ship. It can be any ship. Some of my smaller ships are fun. Well, if you don't be mean to Frost. We don't have to be mean. Don't have to be mean, because no matter where you go, there you are. All right, I think we're going to change up the game plan here. I know we we're going to talk about the Jemmy arc and then do a player interview, but since I am having an issue with getting those done, at 2 o'clock, we're going to play Six Degrees of Separation. All right. That fun game that everybody's playing. All the kids are playing. And we're going to play that tomorrow, too. Which I was going to do at 4 o'clock, but we'll see. We'll do something else at 4. Yeah, but you don't have to pick big ships. What's a fun ship for you to fly in that you enjoy? Um, God, what was it? Uh, Ed had a build on a... For I want to say it was on a Ferengi ship. A couple of years ago. I'm that back. was awesome. Hi, what Ed. Ferengi, uh, do you remember the uh, Witch of Andor? Which of Ender, the Breen, uh, oh, the fan ship. Hello? Hello, thank you, I was writing it down. Which gem attack ship, Potato Guns? And small ships are cool, Musing. Give me some names of ships. Nothing wrong with a classic Defiant or Valiant class these days. No, they can be turned into great builds too. At this moment, I enjoy a Cajun Shikari Escort. Elache Frigate. Ooh, I haven't touched that one in the a The Kulash. Yeah, an uh, awesome ship. Well, when it comes to other ships, I've I'm from the Lobby store, I've gotten the uh, Astika, which I like, but ugh, handles badly. Handles awfully. And it takes a lot no, out, of, Piper. out of the box. It's a tough ship. Once it's built up, it's great, but out of the box, a lot of these ships are tough to turn, you know, to love. What's really weird is what was the Vulcan ship? Not the. Um, Jellyfish, the other one that came out as a prize a couple of years ago. The the, 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 the scout, the science, the, the Tapal scout, the Tapal scout. Yeah, science ship. I actually like that one. It's fast, it's maneuverable, and it had decent firepower. Yeah. And by the way, also the Denorius. Uh, the Bajoran Interceptor. Yeah, somebody else mentioned that one already. Bajoran Interceptor, yeah. Yeah. Sentry Fun Park and make toast while you wait. Well, yeah. The Sumor Science Ship? I don't know that one, Frost. Uh, that's from the, um, the Tier 6 uh, Van Surimor and, um, Yes, it's uh, the the reloaded uh, the, the Wells group reloaded where you had uh, where Rom Romulans, Klingons, and Federation have different ships. 
Huh. I don't know that one at all. That's one really cool. Uh, it's in the ma uh, it came it's up the in, mud, mud in the mud store recently. Uh -huh. Cause before that it it was uh, they were were promo ships. And then appeared in mud for a short period of time. It's a really small warbird. Okay. That is just it's really quite powerful for its size. I'm surprised that we're not hearing people doing any of these Klingon ships. Are Klingon ships n not appreciated? Moog battle cruiser. Or the Kurak. Or the D seven or the temporal D seven. Oh so yeah, we can do that. one. Yeah. I mean, we can do this all day if you want Klingon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we can definitely throw them. Um, what about on the Romulans? I love the Danos, but also the, uh, yeah, not the Mogai. What's... Morigu. Morigu. The Morigu. I love the Morigu. The Deridex. I've got the Deridex down here, of course. Nobody said it, but... And let's put the Sovereign down there. Okay. All right, I'm not a huge fan of the Deridex. Ah, uh, but it can take a kick. It can stick in for a long time. Um, I mean, if you want to go like something that can take a lot of damage and still run through it, uh, any of the um, the battle creatures, yeah, they can just take a beating forever. Well, then you go the other way, like the uh, Rizian cruisers, which can't take a beating but can fly through everything. Yeah. We're going to pick 16 of these guys, and they're going to fight it out, so to speak. The flying yep. brick? <laughs> Which one? There are many flying about. bricks in this game. <laughs> Some even uh, look even like have bricks. A, fl uh, a flying skyscraper known as Borg Liberated Juggernaut. Love that thing. If you want to see a house move, look at that. <laughs> it's a little too big for a house. You know, there's one that we haven't really talked about that I actually do like quite a bit. Which is? Um, trying to get the exact name, but it's a, it's a KDF ship. The multi-mission strategic vessel. Really? It looks like the Battlestar Galactica, sort of, but I actually had a lot of fun using it. Interesting. It, it's just, it's fun to fly. It's It's not incredibly... Uh, you know, maneuverable. It's not. It just seems more realistic. And the decoy fl uh, flight deck carrier. That one's not as fun to fly, but it's still really interesting. Um, and the uh, Gamas uh, surveillance vessel is a science variant. But I just like the way that they fly. It just seems more natural to me. Which is, of course, a big part of it. All right, folks, I've got enough ones here to get some ideas for tomorrow. We are going to do Battle of the Battleships tomorrow. We're also going to do... Yeah, maybe we're going to do that tomorrow. We're going to do that today. But we're going to come back in four minutes or so, and we're going to play Six Degrees of Separation. So, time for a quick commercial break, and time for Mom to go get something to drink. And we'll be right back. And yes, I will turn down the volume on the commercial. And I will be out and play a bit more. Okay. 